Welcome to Hello Cougar! Drone Box Late Night Presents. We're back. This is episode four. As you can see, nobody came to claim the man pet. Now I put signs up all over the greater Los Angeles area, the valley, the canyons especially, and I also ran a free found out on Craigslist, which you can do. I was very vague. I just said, man pet call to ID, because you don't want to give out any specifics, because then psychos could steal him. I want his real people to come get him. But nobody has come to get him yet. Don't take it personally, man pet. You are a wonderful guy. I mean, he fits right in. God, why is it so much easier with animals than with actual men? Oh, because I'm British, that's why. I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm having a really good time with him, but I don't want to get too attached, although how can I not? He's just so, he's just so chill, you know? He's so low maintenance and so cute. Um, anyway, we'll see. I mean, what do you do with these guys? Like, do you take them to the pound or the homeless shelter? That's the thing with man pets. Nobody really knows how to deal. Um, anyway, uh, mm. Speaking of men, I would normally, well, who are we kidding, boys? I would normally be showing you Cub Watch right about now, but we had some complications with a lot of guys being pussies. Um, I didn't go to Casual Encounters on Craigslist this week. I signed up again with CougarLife.com, which is free for women, and I encountered a bunch of pussy-ass behavior, guys being like, Hey, I'm in Westwood. How much will it be for an Uber? I don't freaking know, you know? You know how when you when you're surfing porn, that pop-up comes up and it says, "Would you fuck an older lady dot 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 who lived near you or who lives near you?" I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm always watching porn or anything, but I have noticed that. And I got to ask some of these guys on cougarlife.com would you fuck an older lady if she was in your bed? Because they're passing up opportunities and I'm putting it right in their face. They're making it too difficult or they're getting too pervy. It's like it's already pervy. We met online. We have a 25 year age difference. You know, it's already twisted. God, it's just one thing I will say is the guys who are coming through for me most of all are from the 805 or the 661. It's been all about Ventura County, and don't make me have to get other area codes tattooed on my body. So, in lieu of Cub Watch this week, I do have a couple of guys scheduled for next week, including a young Mexican man who says he also wants to use this as an opportunity to do a hate rant to Donald Trump. And that would be really cool to send Trump a link of this young Mexican man who's about to have sex with a woman, a white woman much older than himself, to be like, screw you, Trump. You know, my father came here illegally, and now I'm having sex with, well, I'm probably too old for Trump. <laughs> yeah, actually, now that I think about it, he wants some young immigrant next. Um, Anyway, it should still be totally fun to get with that young Mexican guy on Tuesday. It's going to happen. So, uh, let's, um, let's, speaking of sexual frustration, I do have something to show you. Oh, and by the way, guys, no lingerie for me this week. I was a little distressed. I noticed some car sex injuries on my knees last week, so I need to get some body makeup. I decided to do this uh, Last Days of Disco Get Up, which I ordered off eBay. It is from China, Shenzhen Province. I used to cheat GSL, I know how to say this. Shenzhen Province. Took about a week to get here. $5.80 and about $3.30 for shipping and handling. e it from China. This is amazing. Um, I don't, I'm not going to like stand up because I don't want to disturb Mr. Man Pet. You know, you know how after a while these guys just run you, you know? But this is a really cute jumpsuit. And it's got that one size fits all thing going on. And you know what? No camel toe. At first I was like, one size fits all. I mean, this thing is, you know, it's going to be baggy on me but it's got a little wiggle room in all the right places because as good as camel toe looks, right? As good as it looks, it, sometimes I feel like he says something. 
I feel like he just said, "Uh uh-huh, that's weird. As good as it looks, it doesn't always feel right. Right, ladies? So I, you know what? If you're a chick and you dig what you're seeing, if you dig this, uh, this uh, jumpsuit, and I'll show you the back of it later. We'll get, we'll get crazy later. Um, direct message me on Twitter. You know my handles. You know, hit me up on Instagram, on IG, as the kids say, and I will hook you up with links, uh, which brings up, well, we're going to go to that in a second, but let's, let's uh, check this out. Now, since I don't have cubs, since I don't have the explicit sexual content, I'm making up for it in two ways. First of all, we have an amazing guest who, as well as being a stand-up comic, is also an adult actress. What a ballsy girl. We're going to meet her today. That's Nikki Knightley. Secondly, I have obtained exclusive footage from an art film I am currently working on, which contains some tastefully done erotic nudity, a uh, very um, natural, indie, artfully filmed and shot. Now, although there is Oscar buzz on this picture, we are not using screeners. We are actually going to show parts of the movie on Pornhub for your consideration when it is nomination season. I am so proud to be starring in this yet untitled art project. And it deals with feelings of difficulty connecting with the opposite sex, lust, misplaced affection. Basically, it's a lot like Bridget Jones' diary, except I'm not fat. Enjoy the clip. I think you're gonna. Touch at me before I come. God. What the fuck. It's not fair. What's wrong with people now? What's wrong with guys? It's not like it used to be. Can someone fuck me? believe the amount of whoa 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 the man pet the man pet really it's, he's a fan of indie film work that must be the man part of him you know what why don't you go see side bitch i think she's got some treats for you in the kitchen okay i think she's got some milk bones i think he wants some milf bones wow that man pet sure is frisky anyway i am so impressed that i was able to bring that vision that artistic vision to life. Um, the man who wrote that script was the same man who filmed it, produced it, also who shot it. I'm sure his name is going to be passed around in some Oscar buzz scenario. I love, I love being an artist. I love being creative. Thank you for sharing that. And that's for your consideration around Academy season, Academy members. And you can also check it out on Pornhub because we're saving postage, we're not distributing screeners, we're very green. Um, so uh, that was wonderful, and as much as I love being a creative mind, let's, let's talk some turkey here in terms of uh, clothes that go on our body. We have something, first of all, we talked last week about Donate, it's time to bring up Donate, AKA Honate, you know what I'm talking about. All you have to do is go to the, uh, right there, donate button. Hook us up because we like to bring alternative comedy programming to you seven days a week on Dronebox. And we have a wonderful article of clothing. If you were to donate 50 bucks, 
or more. Don't stop there. Okay, not trying to put a cap on it. We have a shirt for the ladies. It was designed by Joe Moran, the very handsome Joe Moran. We hooked up the pervert shirt. Really cute small breasts on that model. Give it up for small natural tits. Yeah, that's right. Pervert shirt, donate 50 bucks or more now. We have this in sizes small, medium, large. If you are an extra large or an XXL pervert, we will have those in a couple of weeks too. Okay, so donate and we will get, look, I tell you what, if some guy were to get me a shirt that said pervert, I would probably fuck him. And granted, I'm, I may be a little active or overactive in that department, but I think a lot of girls watching right now would agree with me that that would be a very hot, mysterious, mixed signals present from a mystery man. Guys, donate, get this shirt, give it to a lady, it might bring out her inner pervert. I don't have the shirt for guys yet because a guy wearing a pervert shirt, that's just like no shit, right? That's like the invisible man or ghost dad, Bill Cosby. <laughs> Let's get one for Cosby. Um, all right, this is something the guys might appreciate and ladies, this is really another gift to you. You need to DM me about this. I'm probably gonna start selling these at the swap meet or like a yard sale or just out of my trunk. This is, I call it the power bra. Now so far, woo, okay, you see what I'm working with, right? You see what I'm working with. I love small tits, obviously, you know? Feel good about them, but those were also my tits. I'm talking pregnancy boobs without the baby. Pregnancy boobs without having to send that little shit to Valley College for a semester. And that's my class ring from high school. That's a nice sentimental touch because I believe in this product. These are also from some Chinese province and I plan to bring them over here. Allison Rook, who was our uh, guest the first week, she just did a little guest spot herself on a RuPaul show on Logo. She calls this the magic bra. I call it the power bra just because I wore it around the comedy store one night and it wasn't your usual bullshit of Sally, get your car out of the lot. Sally, hurry up on stage, blow me, Sally. Wasn't that kind of night. I was calling the shots with this amazing freaking power bra. Look at that, wow. You see what I'm working with and you see what I had to work with. So I'm saying you small titted gals, A cup, B cup, small C, it's time to switch it up. So uh, ladies DM me because I will definitely turn you on to some links before I start my wholesale business with the power bra. Let's be heavy hitters. Cheers. Mm. This two buck chuck is flavorful and aromatic tonight. Not much of a wine snob, but it is what it is. It's really damn good. Okay, that was awesome. Yeah, check me out. I only got an Instagram about six months ago. I've really perved it out on there. I have promoted this show a lot. Have a picture of our guest on there. Definitely recommend me to your friends who won't judge you for being super horny and would like to follow me on IG as the kids call it, the millennials. I mean, I'm just on Twitter and Instagram. I'm sorry, I'm not on freaking Snapchat. I, I have a pretty long face already. I don't need to see it stretched out. I don't need to do face swapping. If I'm into face swapping, I will watch the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, although the remake was pretty good too. I'll watch Leatherface and family do that shit for me. Okay, so uh, this is now really fun part of the show this week. This is Femcoms, and we have a really cool one this week. I just worked with her at the comedy store. Uh, she is new in comedy, and she's actually, you know, a real young lady, so she's also new to adult work. Now, I remember when I first started doing comedy, and my ex-sugar daddy, he goes, wow, you know, some people, they, uh, in order to get attention, they get into porn. Some people, in order to get, in detention, uh, get, get, get out of detention, they get into stand-up. Other people are real slutty. He's like, you did all three. So I say anybody who is dabbling in more than one of those things is just a complete badass. So I would like, at this point, if you guys on Twitter put it together for this young lady who's going to be stopping by and visiting me, that's the favorite thing about me in this beautiful set is that I get 
good friends just coming by all hours of the day, telling me jokes and cool shit like that. Can you guys please give it up for the lovely and funny? Let's hear it from my friend, Nikki Knightley. Woo! Femcoms. I'm going to watch and enjoy. Oh, and the laugh track is the ghost of my failed relationships. Hey! Woo! <laughs> How's it going, everybody? So I did do some notes. Because I am a bit of a stoner, and there's just no way I'm going to remember four minutes. Um, all right, so let's get started. I was in an open relationship until recently. It ended because he was kind of a bitch, but regardless, the reason I was in an open relationship is because I work in the adult film industry. Now, I was going to say porn, but you know, now that I'm 23, I think it's time that I start sounding like a fucking adult. Don't you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering, oh my God, what horrible thing happened to you that drove you to do this? Was it daddy issues? Was it money? Was it attention? Nah, I'm just really, really slutty. <laughs> Woo! Right? I just like to get paid for what I'm good at. <laughs> but you know, porn is not all fun and games. It really isn't. We have to deal with a lot, you know, even just some of those crazy sex positions we have to do on a daily basis. Like missionary? Ew. <laughs> do I have to make eye contact with you for more than five minutes? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, thank you. Another thing, getting cum in your eye. Anyone here experienced that? Yeah. It fucking sucks. Like, hardcore. Like, your eyes are out of commission for like four hours. <laughs> I can spot a girl with cum in her eye like a mile away. I don't know what happened to you, bitch. <laughs> um, but you know, even just trying to check my uh, social media in public can be very, very difficult, you know? Apparently, double penetration is not bank friendly. You know? <laughs> Sorry, family standing behind me. I'm like, oh my god, Megan Rain's doing DP. Good for her. She is really stepping it up. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's face it though, you know, actors are, I mean, porn, porn actresses are very good at stuff, but acting is definitely not one of them. You know, it's funny. It sucks because it's not like we have a class we can take. Unlike, you know, actors and stuff. It's weird, you know, it's like some girls can't even suck dick right. It's like, come on, <laughs> come on, bitch, don't scrape the skin off the dick, okay? Maybe I should be teaching a class. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. All right, that was distracting. Um, I think I'm also a stripper. I know you're probably thinking, oh my God, you are so talented. I know. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, you know, it hasn't really been paying that well. So um, I decided to get into stand-up comedy because uh, <laughs> I'm broke. And I figured this would be a good way to start. <laughs> so. <Woo! laughs> Good job. Got. You're awesome. You can take your jacket off if you want. That way it would be better for the microphone, I think. Yeah. Okay, oh, there you go. Oh and we get to see those amazing Ooh. jeans, acid wash retro jeggings. Those are so oh, fucking yeah. hot. Hell Turn yeah. around, let me see. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, I love your body. Oh, come on over. Have a seat. Get comfortable. We've got some white wine for you. Oh, yeah. Now, I do remember from working with you at the comedy store that you do like to have a drink. And the, the reason I know this, and this is a cute little story, is I was hosting, we were in the main room, and Nikki, she goes, I'm just going to go out to the bar. She had a lot of friends coming to see her. She goes, I'm going out to the bar. Let me know if I'm up. And I was like, okay, cool. And then the producer of the show comes and he goes, uh, Nikki Knightley is next. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. And he goes, no, 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 don't worry. I'll put her later. And the thing was, she was out at the bar. And I felt so bad. I, like, wasn't able to go get you. I was kind of running <laughs> around. But she was really cool about it. Like, some people, if they miss their turn, they're all like, what the fuck? Freaked out. She was really uh, chill. She just went up later. 
really yeah, she was like, I, she was like, I was getting a drink. I had friends coming. I'm you like, know? I think my drink was more important. Yeah, I like that. I like that attitude. That's a good attitude for a comic. All right, I want to find out about you. Yes. First of all, those are cool boots. I like those. Thank you. How tall are you without the boots? About five two, five three? Five six. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Oh my god! I always, I, I imagine, I feel like when I met you, I was, you were so petite. I might have been wearing some ridiculous fuck me. Host, <laughs> fuck the hostess pumps at the comedy store. How long have you been in stand-up? It's been a little over a month. Wow. How did you get into it? Did you take a class? Did you... I took a, uh, Jody Miller's class. Oh, Jody, she's cool. Yeah, she's okay, super good, good. cool. And right out of the gate, she told us, you know, that she would be able to get us gigs uh -huh. immediately. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is Hollywood. Like, I'm not gonna believe this bitch. <laughs> but, you know, obviously, you know, right out of the gate, I got booked for like five stand-up gigs. Yeah, she's cool. Jody's so, a fellow cougar, you know? Yeah. A juger. She calls herself a juger. She's a Jewish cougar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she goes for oh all, all uh, orientations so and, funny. you know, religions, yeah. though. Uh -huh. But, so you are 23 years old, uh -huh. and you're doing adult video. How long have you been an adult for? How, how long have I been an adult? <laughs> <laughs> Five years. I don't know. It doesn't feel like long. <laughs> Um, I've been doing porn consistently. Well, I, I kind of did, I dabbled in it when I was like 18, 19 for oh, about okay. a year. I was doing girl, girl. Okay. And then the guy I was with was like, oh, I don't like that. Meh. Oh, he didn't like girl, girl? He was just like, you're selling your body for money and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I guess because you said so, I'll not do it anymore. But whatever, as soon as I broke up with him, I was like, fuck you. Yeah. And um, I started doing boy, girl. Mm -hmm. But that's when I actually started doing it way more consistently. And that was about just a little over a year ago oh cool okay so you started doing boy girl you still do girl girl right yep. mm -hmm. all right and uh that guy like uh well we can talk about exes and everything and as much detail as you want to go into Ooh, non -issue. okay yeah but he well so was he like paying the bills or no i was ah uh, yes yeah yes. and he was on um, late 30s he actually turned 40 when we were together we were oh. together for about I love three it. years this is why i cougar we were together for three years and um he when i first met him like i was using a lot of drugs and like i was like he helped me like get off heroin oh and then wow because of that basically used that against me and was like without me you're gonna go back to doing drugs and like you know i'm the only one who can take care of you and blah 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 and like but what sucked is like you know i was never really physically attracted to him mm -hmm. but i was always attracted to him mentally like we just yeah clicked. yeah so like i tried to make it work but like it was really hard for me to get past like the whole physical attraction and so like i just <laughs> didn't enjoy having sex <laughs> well, what did I he look like he looked like <laughs> axel rose but now like, fatter well that's how axel rose looks now he looks okay, like axel yeah. rose but fatter yeah was it axel like rose I don't think so. I mean, I was paying his bills, so I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Axel Rose got some good ass residuals. Yeah. Yeah. But that's how it often seems to go with girls who are in porn is that there's this guy who doesn't like what they're doing, but he's still spending their money. Oh, yeah. You know? They just want to be in So control. what do they want? Like, do they want you to go work at some normal job well, for minimum wage? He wanted me to get like more into my art and stuff like that. Who's going to pay the bills? But I'm, I'm like, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to make like a thousand dollars in a day doing mm -hmm. art, so sorry. So I mean, whatever. Well, but what I is? With him. Go ahead. Yeah. I stayed with them because obviously we got a place together, and then we then okay like after the first Leases. year being together, that's the totally fucks you. He bought me a cat, so then it was like that was added in like all these yep. little things just make it harder to get out Leases, of the relationship. Pets. At it least sucks. you got no kids. Oh my god! Can you imagine? Thank God. Yeah. So. After a couple of years went by, I think it was like the, the last year and a half I was with him, I knew I just didn't want to be with him anymore, but I was just like, I can't break. Like, all of his friends were my friends. Yeah. Like, our whole life was just like intermeshed so much. I'm like, this is going to suck so bad. That's how they so do bad. it. I'm going to say, hold that thought for a second, because the first segment that I was going to go into is a regular segment that we do on here and it is called my psycho ex-boyfriend now this guy sounds like he <laughs> might qualify on some levels you oh, know I feel like I've had sure. a few like him but there are others I'm sure that you have too so yeah my psycho ex-boyfriend this is what ah see this check it out look at the look at the mud Ooh. there's the, <laughs> the cougar being terrorized and you know you're gonna that's that's that could also be you you're redhead you're an amazing looking redhead. <laughs> um, 
So this guy, yeah, sounds sounds very kind of controlling, manipulative. Now he was older than you. Yeah. How old is he? Almost forty. He to turned, your he 21? Turned, he turned 20, or, okay, when I was with him, he was 38, and I was 19. Oh, so my first gosh, got wow. Yeah, and, I mean, I guess I was naive. Like, I, I don't like to think of myself as someone who was ever na naive, which is total bullshit. Right. But, like, he totally fucked with my mind for a long time, and it wasn't until, like, the last year or two that I really started to kind of pick up on it. Like, mm -hmm. we'd get into arguments, and no matter how wrong he was, it was still somehow my fault. And I was still the one that was in trouble, and I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Like there were certain things that just didn't add up. And like, yeah, just these inconsistencies that made me kind of like second Bad guess pretty much figure. everything that he was saying. And like, but what sucks is I feel like he, he really believed that he was trying to help me. Well, yeah. But like, I know he wasn't. Like he really didn't, you know, he had his best interest at heart, but mm -hmm. not necessarily mine. Well. And so it was just like, whenever don't anyone pretend like you're parties. saving me if like you're just concerned about yourself. Whenever anyone <laughs> parties, people are like, you know, as long as I can stop them partying. And you look amazingly hot for having done heroin. Wow, this makes me want to do well, heroin. <laughs> you know, this was, a, this was probably it. like, Almost five years ago. Wow. Yeah. Well, he definitely qualifies. Although I do notice with a lot of the young girls that they go out with a guy who's way older. Like, we're kinky. We're into age differences. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. feel like when you get to be 35, you're just going to flip and be a cougar. I feel like you're a cougar in training. It's oh, completely cool. Here's what's cool about age differences, too, is that we actually have a fetish shoot lined up. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. We are going to be doing a spanking shoot. I'm Cheers. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Nikki's mom. Uh -huh. And we're going to be doing some spanking. I wondered if it were possible. I don't know if it's possible camera work wise. If I could just get a shot of her over my knee, would that Ooh, be yeah. possible? Oh, oh, but but first a drink. Before we do this, a drink. Did you hear? We're going to be doing a spanking shoot together. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm spanking him. Oh, oh well. I mean, I'm spanking Nikki. I'm going to be playing her <laughs> mom. You know? Yeah. This is Ashley. She lives with me and helps out around here. Hi. You She's know. Old leather bag. What? Oh my God! Wow! Wow! I was just called uh, an old leather bag. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I, you know what? I, I did not. I did not write that. I did not authorize that. I don't know where <laughs> that you came from. It. You're you're tough like that, you know? Yeah, I, I <laughs> am tough. I guess we will say a leather bag, like something vintage on eBay, maybe <laughs> an LV pack. She can get a little hateful. I think she's a little jealous. I think maybe she would like to be in on the spanking shoot. Um, let's you're get right. her really she's jealous. Totally right. Yeah, she she she's, she's got a good heart. Okay, she, she's a very pretty girl. Like, you know, very like, you know, soft butch auburn uh -huh, hair uh -huh. kind of thing. Look, I'm not gay, but you know, I notice it. Anyway, see maybe over my knee. I'm not gonna actually spank you, but I don't know if we can pull this, this direction off. Or yeah, the other oh direction. this direction, actually. You know, the the other way. You were right the first time. Good instincts. Oh wow, I would spank uh, the mic, but look, I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna be a great shoot. All right, I'll give you one swat to okay, show you go what ahead. you're in for. Yeah, you're gonna be great. Mommy, oh no, my God. mommy. Not again. Honey, if your teacher calls me one more time, it's gonna be bare bottom. Mm. I think we got this. All right, good job. No, my mom used to use a, oh, this is um, gonna be like great. a wooden spoon to spank me. Your mom did? Oh, oh my God. Well, she spanked me until I was like 13 years old. Oh, this is gonna be so good because you look about 13 now. This is gonna be an amazing <laughs> spanking shoot for the website Spanked Sweeties. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is going to be super, super fun. That's one thing about, OK, this is why I could never do hardcore. Not that anyone's asking, apart from a couple of stalkers on Pornhub. But it just seems so glamorous. Like, they put so much makeup on you and it's everything. Yeah. That's why I like about fetish. Just kind of do your own thing. Yeah, just look yeah. Real, it's you nice know? having a makeup artist to do your hair. And, yeah. and then you get to go out later tonight, and you're like, look, I, I did my own makeup. I look how fucking fly I look. Well, if any makeup artists want to get some IMDb credits, please come to Hello Cougar and, you know, cover up my car sex injuries. I would love it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down. Mm. Ashley, I don't know if Ashley our side, but she might just keep it real natural. But new section that we're doing, speaking of spanking, this leads us into our next section, which is brand new. We have a brand new title card created mm -hmm. by my amazing Asian boy on the side, Mr. Josh Fong. And this is fear, phobia, fetish.
Mm. Brand new section. Oh, cute. You see, we got the cat, the scared cat again. Oh, mm -hmm. cute. You, are, you look so great on camera. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to be great. Hi, Mom. Daughter, too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> well, you might have some, you know, you might have some fan. And hey, guys, tweet in. Tweet in all night. I don't know if we have live chat tonight, but certainly tweet in and follow Nikki Knightley on Twitter. Tweet into her as well. If you have any questions about working in adults or fetish or if you want to see that art film again that I showed at the top, please let there's our look, there's our handles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh cool. So many names, I love it. Um, so fear, phobia, fetish. All right, so what's a fear you have? Um Let's see. I have a couple. I have a fear that like I'm gonna put my hand in the blender and turn it on. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. All yeah. Right. That's kind of a weird. That's bad. Okay. All right. <laughs> or like the the garbage, the garbage disposal. disposal. Okay. I'm gonna For help some you. reason, it's almost like I, I I'm afraid that I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And it's like, I, why the fuck would I ever want to do that? That's why. What would urge me to do that? And I have no idea. It's some. It's just something. It's some kind some of backlog. Weird, something fucking weird thing. That's. This is very interesting and specific. I'm gonna give you a tip, a pro tip right now. When I was 10 years old, my mom, uh, she's British. I'm from England. She thought she was being cultural. She took me to the drive-in. Me and my brother to drive-in. We watched this movie called The Farmer. I'm gonna say 1978. Fucking ratchet horror movie in which someone stuck a guy's hand in the garbage disposal. Oh I covered my eyes. I still saw it. I recommend. <laughs> you fucking find this shit on YouTube, watch it, it might help you get over that fear. I'm you just really putting it out help? there. It's worth a try. It sounds like you deal with this every time you look in the sink. You know what? It's not necessarily the sink as much as it is the blender. Like mm -hmm. every time I use the blender, I'm like, I'm making a, blender. a smoothie. Okay. Making a smoothie. Oh man. Oh, God, I'm going to stick my fucking hand in it. Just totally fucks with me. I don't know. It's so weird. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's that song? Wanna put my tender heart in a blender? Da, 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 da. Isn't that some lithium, something on lithium? You yeah. know, something from when you were in a diaper? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, maybe listen to that. Rendezvous, then I'm through with you. <laughs> Apply that to your ex. Um, no rendezvous. But yeah, I think you should watch The Farmer. All right, what about the phobia? I respect your fear. What about the phobia? Okay. That's a healthy fear. Um, bees. I just bees. can't. Bees or, or any sort of bee-like bug scares the living shit out of me. Like, I just can't. Ever since I was a little kid, I mean, I've been stung multiple times. By I, wasps or bees? Both. Ugh. And multiple times. And what hurts more? They both fucking hurt so bad. But doesn't a bee leave a stinger in you? Yeah, and it's, like, it's so fucked up. I mean, like, it just pulls, Oof. like, the piece of their inside body yeah. out of them. So it's just yeah. like dangling off this. They Ugh! die for you. They die for you. Yeah, the so bee dies fucked. for you. Did Ugh, you ever have totally any fetish? Any out. fetish experience where the guy comes after you with like the little cattle prod or the the violet wand or anything? Did you? Ever oh, have I that? actually did a scene for Kink that was uh, called Electro Sluts. Kink.com. Yeah. They uh, they used that on me. Okay. It was it scary? Cause that's like it, a sting. Honestly, to me. oh my god, it hurt. No, you know what it. The, the noise freaked me out more than the actual act of yes, it happening. Yes, yes. It was like this shock. It was just yes. so intense that you're just like, yes. It's the anticipation just freaks you out. I was going to ask you, like, what kind of sex scenes you like and everything. And I like a lot of fetish work, but I am not down for the electrocution. One, one day I went into this dungeon. I was so broke. And they said, hey, this guy wants to do like a wand on you. Mm -hmm. And it's like a sting. I said, is it like a bee sting or a wasp sting? Because there's a difference. Um, I get it. And there's a lot of movies that you can watch, just like My Girl. Did you, did you get traumatized from watching My Girl when you were little when the bees got Macaulay? I don't think I've ever seen that. You've never that seen it? That probably would have scared the shit out of me. Yeah, maybe I, mean, I was going to think that's what I fucked you up. Turned... Yeah, yeah, that might have been what fucked you up. I recommend... The noise of the bees, too. It's, it's the that noise. That totally freaks me out. I think that you should do a fetish session with somebody who's really cool bees. and willing to work with you with the wand. I think that would help. So that's fear, phobia. This is my advice. Not a psychologist, but I play one in acting class sometimes. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to something good. I like this new section. Thank you for the title card. Cheers. Um, fear, phobia, fetish. Let's talk about something that turns you on. You can't explain why, but it does. Let's see. 
Ooh, I like having sex in public. <gasps> public sex? <laughs> it's called piggy in the gay community, I think. Really? I like, yeah, yeah. I like it. Well, so I also just Whoa! like it rough. Oh, look, Ooh, look at those hot like, pictures. Oh that God. is you. I love yeah. it. Oh my God. I should have brought the, you know what? Yes, I should have brought those up before you came on, but now that they're here, this is really cute. Who did is these there, photos? Uh, this Evil Angel, this is from my first anal scene. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you like Joanna Angel, it's really cool to work with, I'm mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm. I worked with um, Mark Wood and uh, Francesca Lay. <gasps> Francesca Lay has done a lot of spanking videos as Does a she? top, yeah, playing like the principal. Yeah, no, she's something. cool, she's super cool. Mm -hmm. I had a really good time. And I, I've shot with Mark Wood before, and I was really nervous, honestly, because I was like, uh... Is that the bald look. guy? No, he's like really tall, blonde. He's kind of balding. He has like... I don't know. He, he looked like a man. I don't know. He looked... Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he's a fucking man with a huge cock. And what? who are some of the favorite male porn stars that if, if you could tell me to fuck some young man Ooh, as a cougar damon dice damon dice okay he's i've have not gotten to work with him but i've fucked him off camera oh and he's really hot. what's he look like um he looks like he might be a little hispanic uh-huh he has like hazel eyes and he's like built and he doesn't have like a huge penis, right? But it's like a good sized penis and really and he hard. Just, he just fucks really well. Oh, that's what he makes up for, you know, because sometimes the huge cock guys just fuck with their dick and they don't use their hands and they don't eat pussy, you know, like yeah. I'm talking about in real life. I mean, I know mm -hmm. on camera they got to do it all, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool good, 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 good recommendation for a cougar. Um, so fetish so you like public sex tell us a little bit about some public sex experiences you might have had i think the last time i had public sex i was at um porn star karaoke and uh it was with Lily. which is where which is where it's in the valley yeah that's what i'm <laughs> talking about pr for a valley business sardo's and burbank so go on i'm sorry to interrupt i gotta props to the 818 i uh i was like talking to i don't know if you know who lily kate is mm-hmm talking to her we were both drunk she started making out with me and then she like pulled me into the bathroom and pull she pulled out a fucking she had a strap on already on she pulls it out and she's like all right we're fucking in the bathroom i was like okay wow <laughs> oh there were, like, my people god people in the bathroom they're like in the other stall i love it oh my like, god we didn't give a fuck she wow it's porn star karaoke. She is cool. She's done a lot of fetish. Yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to do a trade shoot with her. I just haven't had time, dude. She's the shit. Between so, stand-up. Cool. Yeah, she's also doing stand-up. She's been trying to do stand-up. Oh, stand -up. my God. Yeah. This is great. So as stand-up, uh, yeah, as a stand-up, when you do your gigs at the comedy store or whatever, I noticed you had a good following. A lot of really cool people came to see you. Are they like fans of your adult work? Or are they more like just friends from Both. real life? Both. Mm -hmm. The first show, the, the show I did for mm -hmm. you, I had probably about five, six or six people come that were friends from high school who I hadn't seen in like five years. Oh, how cool. Yeah, so that was, it was really cool to see them. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that like out of everybody, you are the ones that showed up to my show. Yeah, yeah. But I also had some um, obviously like Nikki Knightley fans and yeah. um, porn fans. Um, there were a lot more fans that came than I, than I realized because I got hit up later and they were like, hey, we saw your show and then we couldn't find you. And I was like, oh shit, like, wow. my bad. But oh, yeah, I, I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, it's very so it's like cool. A, it's a mixture of both. That's why I usually have to have both both of my names on the yeah. on the list because uh, you know obviously. Yo, that my, happens. My high school the friends are gonna know. Comedy store has three rooms. Yeah, you got to say what room you're in at the comedy store. And now that you're getting into it, you're gonna have to start going around town, doing the open mics. Yeah. Let me ask you, as a female comic who is obviously beautiful and young and. Uh, also does adult video, do you find some kind of unusual attention coming to you from male comics or male fans when you're just trying to work jokes? Um, yeah, I, I think as soon as it's known that I do porn, it's almost like, oh my God, we can all fuck her. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they mm -hmm. don't even really try to put much effort into it, is the other thing. Like, they just kind of come up to me and get me a drink and they're just like, all right, like, you're going to come back to my place? And I'm oh, like, wow. damn, really? Already? Like, shit, bro. Yeah. It's a little, it's yeah. a little annoying. Yeah. Um, I think that there's just like, I don't blame them. You know, it's like, I think there's already like a preconceived notion about porn stars. 
And so they just see me differently and they just mm -hmm. act accordingly. Yeah. So it's, it's not their fault, but it is annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because, yeah, it's annoying. I'm sure it is. You know, she's actually very funny. And, you know, you got to get out there. You got to get to the open mics. Yeah, I, you, need, to, I need to definitely yeah. do some more open mics. I sure. run a great one on Monday night at the Pig and Whistle. You know, Ooh. come there. You know me. So mm -hmm, you'll feel, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a good, that's a good feeling. Yeah. You go on a comedybureau.net and there's all kinds of open mics. And just get out there and you get respected as a comic because yeah. you're funny and you've got chops and you're chill and everything. So, you know, the more you do the less people will probably try and treat it like something else yeah definitely it's cool what do you feel like when you do comedy do you get any similar feelings doing adult video totally. cameras fucking totally Tell that's me probably about why this. i like it so much yeah it is such an adrenaline rush i mean same with stripping is it's like i'm on it's like look at me like i get all the attention and which i love and <laughs> um whether it's like laughter or like you know sexual attention it's yeah. all kind of the same thing for me I don't know it satisfies something inside of me um where do you and strip it's definitely just like an adrenaline rush yeah yeah whereabouts um, <laughs> uh, cheetahs. I have a million questions cheetahs, cheetahs really. how cool yeah uh, I think Alana uh she's a real tall girl might mm -hmm, strip there mm -hmm. sometimes I'm sure a lot of girls that strip there yeah do you have any idea why? Because I know I, I know about myself. I'm fucking pushing 50 and I still need extra attention. What the hell? And I know why it is. But do you have any idea why you might be needing a little extra attention? Where do you think it comes from? It's daddy issues. Totally. Okay. Totally. Okay. Totally. All right. I'm always, I mean, I've always used different ways to fill that void. And yeah. It's kind of my life has been a journey of like, all right, which one's not going to kill me? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, I was doing a lot of drugs in high school and like obviously trying to fill that void with drugs. That just obviously wasn't doing anything for me. Um, so once I stopped doing that, it was either boys, sex, art, being the class clown. I mean, it was always something that I was doing to kind of fill that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to find like healthier ways to It seems to do so, this. well you don't seem to party that much. No, and you I know, you I showed up here, you, you yeah. I, I, I try to focus more on like, you know, art. And um, I actually just came from an art gallery that had one of my pieces up in it. So oh, how cool. cool. What art gallery? Um, it's called the Art Surf Club. It's like, it's on Coinga. It's right next to the Burgundy Room. In oh, Hollywood. how cool. Cool. Yeah, it just opened today. So this young cool. lady has a lot to offer, and I get why you would like an older guy, but I'd love to see you with a guy who is maybe about just 10 years older than you or something, and he's got a good job, and he really, I don't know. Look, if I could be a Yenta, we'll have to have you back, and we'll do this, we'll do this uh, section where I yeah. pick male movie stars, but you could probably get movie stars in real life. Do you have any star fucking confessions for me? No, I don't. Mm. I've never fucked a star before. Oh my God. Well, you will. You will, honey. <laughs> you will. Look, I have, so you will. It's going to happen. All right, our next section is called Bad Vice. Uh, first of all, let me check and see if we have any tweets. We might have some definitely cool tweets going on because you are an amazing guest. Oh, whoa, it is 1249. All right, I'll keep my eye on the ball here. Let me go to my Twitter. I'm kind of older, so sometimes I'm slow with shit. It's not because I'm older, it's actually just because I'm a reeb from way back. Um, let's see what we're getting here. Oh, wow, cute pictures. Judd Travis. You're going to meet my friend Judd Travis. He's amazing. He has a show on here, and uh, he's watching us. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very cool. All right, we're getting a lot of good tweets. Now, I do have a question, because this next section is called Bad Vice. You just saw the title card. It's called Bad Vice, and it is actually from our number one fan of this show, and she's a female. She's out of state, and she has some questions for a cougar. Basically, she's like, okay, here's some other, here's some other stuff. All right. Uh, oh, my God. Here's some other drama. Yeah, we talk a lot of shit. But she says, she says, I like a younger man, but it's not natural for me to make the first move. How can I let him know I'm down without seeming really slutty and wanting to make it into a legit situation? Okay, so she's older than him, but she doesn't want to be just some cougar fetish novelty. She wants something but more authentic. She's afraid to make pull the first move? 
Yeah, she said she's, it seems like she's not naturally, not naturally, uh, you know, dominant. Okay, for sure. Yeah. So she wants to know some advice. I mean, I say like in her situation, definitely involve alcohol in the equation. It oh, just, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Seriously. No, I totally agree. Like if you have, if you're with someone that like, you're like, I just can't, there's no fucking way I'm going to be able to pull a move on this guy. Because I've been there. Like with certain guys, I have a hard time like pulling the first move, even though I'll be sitting there like, just do it, just, oh, come on. And I just can't, I'm, there's just something that stops me from doing it. I'm just like, or I'll try and I'm like, I'm sucking at this right now. And I just oh can't do it. Oh my God. But a couple of drinks later, it's just like smooth operator. Yeah. And like what? I'm like totally fucking nailing it. You know? You're killing it. <laughs> so I would definitely suggest I would suggest, yes. But also maybe like some flirty texts mm -hmm. or like, you know, it doesn't even have to be verbal. Maybe just send a little like, you know, somewhat of a flirty like message to them yeah. to let, let them know that you're interested. Tips you know? from a porn star about bridging the generation gap and starting on some cougaring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we both say booze can build a bridge, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. You know, can totally take the edge off. Oh, hey, Ashley, could you do me a favor? I have a present for Nikki, and I left it in the dressing room. So at your convenience, when you're not hanging out with the man pet, could you hook me up? Now, I want to know, Nikki, where else can we see you? Put it out there. Let us know where we can see your comedy. And also, if you want to promote your adult video. We yeah, would love to hear about that. Well, let's see. Obviously, you can uh, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, my I have a, two Instagrams actually. There, I mean, most of my so social media is just Nikki Knightley by itself. Okay, Nikki so it's Knightley. pretty easy to find me. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, which is my Nikki Knightley YouTube channel. You can literally just Google that, and um, I have a couple videos up, and one of them is my first stand-up show, so you can get a little idea of like how fucking hilarious I am. Um, what else do I have? Um, I have oh, I have a Vimeo where I actually. Um, edit videos and uh, post those. So that's kind of some more like artistic stuff that I do. Um, and it's all like hot videos of me. So it's pretty dope. It's pretty cool. So just look up Nikki Knightley into Google and I'm sure you'll find everything you need to see. You, okay, so what, what movie stars do people say you look like? What's, cause I, all right, a young, young, young Deborah Messing is popping into my head. I get young Madonna. Yeah, yeah. I get um, the girl from Twilight. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I feel like I've gotten something else, but I was like, what? That doesn't look anything like me. Mm. Oh, the girl from New Girls? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, cool. I like that you're just like the girl. I like that you're not all like name dropping. You know, I don't need to watch my feet because she's dropping names. Okay, that was really cool. So definitely check her out. Follow her if you're one of my fans. If you're one of her fans, you already know what's up. Follow me. If you're one of her fans, follow me. <laughs> Give a coog some love. Don't be an ageist fuck. I'm a mother figure in comedy, you know? All right, I got you some presents. Oh, okay. fuck yeah. I didn't get you them. I, like, went into my drawers. Oh, same thing. Share, because they're kind of funny. Okay, first of all, this is cute, and you maybe you can wear it in a shoot or something. You know, it looks super fuck hot on you. yeah. Yeah, it's too much trouble for me. And, and the eyelet pattern, I'm not feeling it, but it looks super hot on you, I thought. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Beautiful. Amazing. I love it. Yay. Oh, that looks, oh my God. Thank yeah, you for yeah. showing off, man. You know what, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me just demonstrate that there's no camel toe while you look at your other present. Check this out. Woo! And the back, of course. Yeah, yeah. That is some action from Ooh. eBay. That is some eBay action. Okay, now the story behind this is it's from some yard sale where um, the, the, the mom is selling off the high school daughter's clothes because she got pregnant. <gasps> West Valley Yard Sale. I don't know who Lillian is, <laughs> but you have so many names, I thought it would be funny for you. Oh, hey, this is my man pet. He is super cute and friendly. Hi, man pet. Yeah, he's real friendly. Why don't you say hi to Nikki over there? 
Hi, man pet. Yeah, yeah, you can pet Aww. him. We don't know whose he is, but we're letting him hang out here until his people claim him, and, you know, they have to be good people, and they have to really claim him legitimately. <laughs> oh, hey, since you uh, got over my knee and I laid a swat on your ass, why don't you show me your spanking prowess? What okay, let's hey, do it. Go on over. Give her, give her a sniff. Give her a sniff. I think maybe <laughs> give man pet a swat on the ass. That <laughs> Does be, man pet you spanking? Yeah, okay, yeah. man pet. All right, are you ready for this? Woo! She has a hard hand on her. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck you, bitch? Like, oh I'm What an adorable oh, man pet. Again. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun. I think uh, we might be at time. And uh, I really enjoyed you as a guest. You are Thank just you. wonderful and so, much, so much fun and so funny. Yeah, and I'm just fun. So, yeah, it is a fun show. <laughs> you just did great. Uh, we have a really wonderful guest next week. What I like to do is I like to have a kitten and then I have a cougar. Next week, Laura Lee Butsakas. She is a comedian and a cougar. We always have a femcom. And uh, I want to say, hey, thank you very much. If you like the show, pass it on, tweet, follow us, adopt a man pet, and watch <laughs> Nikki Knightley's videos and throw up a comment on how great and how funny and how smart she is because, uh, you know, I love to have girls back who want to come back, basically. Fuck you yeah. Know, who want to come back. Show them some love. <laughs> thank you guys. This has been a really great episode of Hello Cougar. I want to thank my my girl Ashley and the whole crew and Josh and Dennis, Lewis, of course Nolan. You guys rock. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, man pet. Oh god, what a good boy. I think this guy's got some mommy issues. What do you think? <laughs>